1998 marks an important year in the history of the LGBTQ community in Israel. Dana International, an Israeli singer, became the first transgender person to win the Eurovision Song Contest. But more significantly, in 1998, Tel Aviv was the first city in Israel to host the first official Pride Parade. Unofficially, in 1974, a small group of 20 people from the community marched through Tel Aviv. They wore masks covering their faces and identities, except one person, Sivan Melchior, who was a leader in the Israeli LGBTQ community during the 70s. Even though it was not an official parade, it's considered to be the first real pride in Israel. Similar events were held in 1977 and 1979 under the name Eliziada, which means happy celebration. By 1989, this unofficial march became a yearly event on the streets of Tel Aviv. Since then, the Pride Parade has come a long way. It's not an event restricted only to Tel Aviv. In 2002, Jerusalem had its first Pride Parade, and today, more than 15 cities across Israel have their own parades. The Tel Aviv Parade became one of the most iconic celebrations for the LGBTQ community across the world. In recent years, tourists make their way to Israel to celebrate. This year, the Tel Aviv municipality expects more than 10,000 tourists, a low number compared to previous parades, which attracted between 30 to 40,000 visitors. The Pride Parade is one of Israel's biggest celebrations, a key event, one that cannot be threatened by political pressures. Well, let's find out what's happening. Uh, Nicole Zedek is down with the parade in central Tel Aviv. How's it going so far, Nicole? Laura, it is an absolute party out here, and it has been since 5 o'clock about two hours ago when the parade started. But now people are just taking over the streets of Tel Aviv, the promenade right here. Listen to the energy. This is what we've seen for multiple hours now. It really is such a festive environment, celebrating love, community, people coming together. Really, really an amazing energy out here, and a sea of color, a sea of rainbow flags which is also beautiful if you take a look at the float behind us here this is just one of the nine floats and as you can see right there 25 years of the pride parade really amazing and not only is it celebrating the 25th year this is also the largest pride parade in the Middle East now that's saying something in itself but some other numbers also state that this is the largest pride parade in the continental Asia Think about that, Laura. Our little tiny Israel could have possibly the largest pride parade in continental Asia. I think that speaks numbers, and certainly numbers are showing up out here tonight. I know we mentioned tens of thousands last year. We saw 200,000 people at the pride parade, and they were expecting to see that number again, maybe even upwards of 300,000 people coming out participating in the event today. And I want to say that each year, the pride parade, the pride festivities keep getting bigger and bigger. In fact, so big that this year we are seeing two full days. So this is just kicking off the celebrations. Next, starting tomorrow on Friday, now it's more of a festival, a, a pride party of sorts. And that's at Park Higher Cone starting tomorrow at 12 p.m. until 6 p.m. So this is just a small tasting of what's to come. Really, really exciting. So much energy out here and, and just a warm, welcoming environment from everything that I've seen and everyone that I've spoken to. Yeah, the party is very much just getting started, isn't it, Nicole? We can expect it to go on for uh, many more hours yet. Yeah, Nicole Zedek, uh, down at the hearts of the Gay Pride Parade here in Tel Aviv. Thank you very much indeed.